Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a quick unboxing for you. It's not a Disney unboxing, but it's kind of a fun, young at heart-ish unboxing. And it is the August 2017 Owl Crate box. Now Owl Crate is a literary subscription box and specifically a young adult um, kind of monthly book box. And it's named after the owls in Harry Potter that bring the post, that bring the mail. So it's kind of like this fun parcel that you get and in every single box you get a book that the curators pick out specifically and it usually has an exclusive cover and it's signed and there's a bunch of like little gifty literary um, presents and things in the box as well. So I'm excited. This is the second one that I've received. Um, I did review the first one that I got last month, which was July, and I actually reviewed it on my other channel, which I think I'm going to kind of abandon, but I will link to that review down below because it was a really good box. Um, but without further ado, here is the August 2017 Owl Crate. And by the way, look how cute the little um, owl footprint steps are. That's just, I love it. I love little touches like that. Okay, so I'm opening the box, and the first thing I am seeing is this postcard. It has some ravens on it. It is very spooky. And the theme of this month's box is Something Wicked This Way Comes. And they said on their social media channels that this box, the August box, was going to be as close to a Halloween themed box that they do this year. So I love Halloween and I love things that are slightly spooky so I, I had to make sure that I definitely got a hold of this one. This is actually the spoiler card and I'm going to use this for reference but I'm not going to read it to you right now obviously but look how beautiful um, their exclusive artwork is. That's awesome actually. Okay, and here's some packing confetti, and if you've watched any of my other unboxings, you know I have an ongoing battle with this confetti that comes in boxes. So let me just dispose of this really quick. And I'm going to leave the book uh, for last. So I'm going to start with all of the little gifty items that they included. And the first thing that I'm pulling out is this pair of socks. They are socks, and they have Edgar Allan Poe little faces or heads on them. So that is kind of different and strange and spooky and dark. I love unique socks. I have a whole collection of unique socks. I don't always wear them. I just kind of collect them or I wear them around the house where nobody can see. But I, I love getting socks in a subscription box. And these are from the company Out of Print. And I think that Out of Print does a lot of cool um, t-shirts and other um, apparel items and um, goodies that have literary references. So I dig these a lot. The Edgar Allan, Go uh, Edgar Allan Poe socks. Oh, and look at this. At the top it says polka dots, polka dots. It's very punny. I like that. Okay, the next item in the box is actually a fountain pen. So that is really fun. I love nice pens. And um, if you can see, maybe you can't see. Okay, so the company is Uli, and this is a fountain pen. So you can actually see um, the cool tip. I love fancy pens like this and it has um, an ink cartridge already loaded into the pen and then it also came with two extra ink cartridges. So uh, assuming this writes well, which it, it probably will, I love getting um, fountain pens and stuff like this and it kind of goes with the spooky um, Edgar Allan Poe writing theme. Oh, my cat is knocking on the door. Hold on a second. Okay, this is Suki. She's a stinker and she wanted to say hi, so hi. Hi, she's kind of spooky too, so good job. You made it on camera again. You got your way. All right, let's go somewhere else now. The next thing I'm seeing in this box is also really fun. It is actually coffee. It is coffee and it says Dark Arts Roast. Uh, death before decaf. That's really cool. It's a Harry Potter reference, the Dark Arts at least is. Let me give you a close-up of the package because it has kind of um, a Slytherin... Uh, snaky dark arts design on the front. Let me show you this really quick. So there's a little bit of a glare, but you can see the snakes and the skulls. Um, and then it says death before decaf, which I love. So this is a two ounce coffee sampler, and it's a collaboration between Owl Crate and the brand Happenstance. And it says on the back that the flavor notes are uh, looks like almonds, oranges, and chocolate, so I guess this is going to be awesome. I love coffee, and I love all those flavors, and I love the dark arts, and I love Harry Potter, so big win on the cute coffee sampler. Okay, the next thing I'm seeing is a little tiny um, enamel lapel pin. Let me show a close-up of this. So it's a little heart pin, and it says, I chose this. 
I love enamel pins, so I'm excited about this, but according to the info card in the box, this pin actually goes with this month's featured book, and it says on the card that it'll make sense once you read it, so I'm looking forward to getting in on the little I chose this secret, and I love pins, so hooray. The next thing I'm seeing is a really nice double-sided bookmark. Um, on one side it says, when everyone knows you're a monster, you needn't waste time doing every monstrous thing. So there's a close-up of that side. And the second side says, no mourners, no funerals. Among them, it passed for good luck. So here is a close-up of that side. It's a very beautiful bookmark. I always can use a bookmark. And these are both quotes from uh, Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. I haven't read that book. It is very high on my list of books that I'd like to read, hopefully this fall. Um, I hear it's a little bit spooky and dark, so I'm going to add this to my stack of bookmarks, and I'm going to move this book up a little bit higher on my reading list. There's my cat again. She just is being kind of a pest today. The next item in the box is this month's Owl Crate button. There's always a monthly button included and it features their exclusive art for the theme. So it's that Raven uh, theme that they had on their postcard. And that also kind of goes along with the Edgar Allan Poe um, kind of Raven uh, or Crow theme that this box seems to have. The next thing in the box is a pretty big sticker, like a nice decal from uh, a creator called Evie Bookish. And let me give you a close-up of this. And the sticker says, we are the darkest axe made light. It features either a cello or a violin, I guess, or a viola. It's kind of hard to tell when you don't have something to scale it by, but I, I'm gonna say it's a violin. My husband's a violinist and I love stringed instruments, so I'm excited about the sticker. And that is a reference to the book, The Savage Song, which I have not read, but now after seeing this, I feel like I need to check that out. The next thing I'm seeing in this box is actually a book, but it is not the featured book of the month. This is kind of a bonus book, and it is the classic Sleepy Hollow and other stories, and the publisher is Rock Paper Books, and I know that Owl Crate collaborates with that company from time to time. I love the cover art. It suits the theme of the box perfectly, and I'm really excited to have this in my book collection. And now, finally, we have reached the final item in the box, which is the book of the month, and it is called The Hearts We Sold by Emily Lloyd-Jones. Let me take it out of the wrapping. So here is the cover. I think it's gonna be a spooky book. Um, I don't know what it's about, but it says on the back, losing your heart is easy, getting it back is another story. Now, because this is coming in the uh, spooky box. I have a feeling that losing the heart might actually be more literal than figurative in this book, but um, it looks pretty fun. I hope to read it uh, in the very near future, especially if it's as spooky as this box makes it out to be. Um, one of the cool things about Owl Crate is they have an exclusive cover. So this particular cover was designed solely for this edition of the Owl Crate box. So that's kind of um, makes it a little bit of a special edition. It also came with a signed book plate by the author, which is really cool. There's my cat again. Ah, cats. Finally, there is a postcard which says, I chose this, and there is a note to the subscribers from the author, Emily Lloyd-Jones, on the back. So that's pretty cool. I'm really excited to read this. I love kind of the exclusive aspect of this box with the book plate and the cover. Um, this box does a really good job of curating. They are young adult books for the most part, um, and I'm not really a young adult. I'm kind of a middle adult, but if you know anything about me from watching my channel, I'm quite young at heart. So I love reading stuff like this. I'm going to add it to the top of my pile. Hopefully I'm going to read it before Halloween because I think that's the intention with this. But I'm yeah, I'm really excited. And as always, the final thing in this box is actually a little teaser postcard for next month's box. So they usually spoil the theme of next month's box in the current month. And the theme for this one is mythical creatures, which I love. I'm already really super excited about that. Here's a quick uh, close up of the card. As always, they have gorgeous fun artwork. 
yeah that's everything that's everything in this month's owl crate i think this was a great box i love the kind of spooky theme as i said i'm a big halloween fan and i like things that have just a little bit of a dark twist to it so um i hope that you like this unboxing if you get owl crate or if you have any thoughts and feelings about the things that came in this box or if you're an avid reader please give a comment down below i'd love to meet other readers i'd love to hear other people's opinions about this specific subscription and um if you like unboxing videos if you you like reading and especially if you like Disney which is kind of the theme of this channel even though not today um, you might want to subscribe and uh, hang around I've got a lot more unboxings to show you I've got a ton of Disney content coming up I've got two Disney trips coming up that I'll be vlogging and um, I would just love to grow this community of just really nerdy <laughs> adult children um, that I've kind of found uh, through making my YouTube channel thanks again for stopping by I hope you have a great day I hope the rest of your summer is lovely and I'll see you again really soon. Bye guys!